Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed this look for you right here. It is a really natural look, everyday look, but with a pop of color. Definitely the bottom eyeliner definitely um, changes up the look, but if you definitely don't want this pop of color, you can always throw in a white eyeliner or a nude eyeliner and then you know play it safe play it safe um yeah so this is the final look and i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys tune in for the next one don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and all that jazz thanks for watching <laughs> okay today i'm trying out something new and i'm going in with the lemonade primer and then i'm just going to set that with a powder and then we'll start our eyeshadow now we're going to be taking a fluffy crease brush and we're just going to be using this cool tone brown and going into the crease. We're going to be building it up actually. If you wanted to go in straight with a darker color, it would be harder to blend out and it wouldn't look so natural for a natural everyday look. Using the same brown, but I'm adding it with a burgundy color, and we're going to start packing that on the outer corner. Um, then we're just going to start blending it out. It doesn't really have to be neat and tidy. It's kind of supposed to look like an effortless look. Now we're going in with these two pale shades because I couldn't choose and we're going to start packing that all over the lid and we're going to keep packing and keep packing over and over again until we get what we want. It's definitely better to use a color closer to your skin tone or just a little bit lighter so that way the look stays natural. I'm going to be color correcting a little bit and we're going to use this sample shade that I got from Sephora and we're just going to pack that underneath the eye to hide my veins. Silly me, I forgot to put on primer before I went in with that concealer, but that's okay. We're just going to start it up right now and blend that into the skin until it gets really nice and tacky. Then we're going to be going in with foundation, my favorite luminous foundation. We're going to be using a sponge just to get that into the skin. Nothing new, nothing special. Wow, this looks really orange right here, but I promise it'll match. Okay, I wanted to go in with something that I don't use as often, so I'm going to be using this Maybelline concealer, and I'm going to be dotting it in my regular triangle shape on the high points of my face, under my eyes, my chin, my cupid's bow, my nose, and my forehead. And then we're going to be blending that out with my trusty Real Technique sponge. <laughs> One concealer is never enough for me, especially when I use that Maybelline one because it's not really full coverage. So I'm going to be going in with my trusty IT Cosmetics and we're going to just be buffing that out like normal. Now I'm going to be going in with my translucent powder and I actually do use the extra coverage one. They do have different kinds if you were wondering. Um, and yeah, we're just going to be baking our face. Nothing special, nothing new. And then we're going to be using some eyeliner. We're going to be using Kat Von D's liner and we're going to make a nice little wing. I showed you the game, everybody Sometimes I use um, some con darker concealer on my forehead because I feel like my bronzer doesn't show up as much as I would need it to. So instead of packing it on, you just add concealer underneath it and then it's definitely going to make the bronzer show more. Okay, first things first, I'm going to just contour my cheekbones a little bit with this contour brush. And in the Kat Von D palette, I use the bottom middle shade. And then we're going to bronze up our face with the Benefit bronzer and a fluffier brush. Oh, 
Some people say that when they bronze their face, that's when their face comes together. But when I blend my contour and my bronzer together, that's when I see everything come together. So this is an important step for me. Next, we're just going to put some of that powder underneath our contour and then quickly dust it off. I don't let it sit for long, maybe 10 seconds. Then the next step that we are going to do is take this mascara and we're just going to do a light coat because as always we are going in with some falsies and today I am using the House of Lashes Bordoir Lashes. Is that how you say it? Bordoir? Yeah, and these are my absolute favorite lashes and I always use House of Lashes Lash Glue. This time I'm actually using it in white though. I love it in black because obviously it's just easier to cover. But since I am using white, I'm just going to cover it now with some black eyeliner. No problem, no drama. And now we are finally going in with that pop of color. And just as a tip for you guys, um, you can always use your sponge to pull down your skin so that way you can see your lower lash line better. Or you can use a brush, but don't use your finger because then you'll leave finger marks. And now we're just going to take any pencil brush and this soft pink shadow and we're just going to put this from outer to inner corner. And I'm so sorry I did not show you guys but I did put mascara on my bottom lash line. I used Blink Primer and Blink Mascara. I do love them both. But as a tip, if you do bring your shadow a little too low, you can just take any translucent or yellow powder and you can just dust it away as you see me doing right here. Oh my gosh, guys, I found a new highlighter and I am in love. Jaclyn Hill talked about this on her Snapchat and now I'm addicted. Now I'm crazy. Like, can you see my reaction? Like, oh my goodness. I do talk about this at the end of the video, so I put on too much. <laughs> I do talk about this at the end of the video, though, so I won't talk about it right now. But this girl is amazing. The last step for the cheeks is a blush so that we can blend together that highlight and that contour. And we are using this blush right here which is very pigmented and very cheap. Now we're going to be contouring our nose real quick. Lately I have just been doing it real quick because I ain't into it that much right now so I don't want to put in that much effort. For my lips, I'm going to be using ColourPop's Pasadena, which I just got in my BoxyCharm. And I'm going to be setting my face with Urban Decay Setting Spray. I use the oil one. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys make your own recreates and throw a different color in the waterline and everything. And I hope you guys tune in for the next one. And... Yeah, I never know what to say for these things. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything. Thumbs it up. I guess that's what like is. I don't know what I'm saying. Goodbye. <laughs> and if I can only say one thing before I leave. You need this highlighter palette. It's by Sleek Makeup. Jaclyn Hill posted it on her Snapchat. And literally, like, everyone went out and got it. Including myself, obviously. And it is four colors together. I never thought I'd say that it's too much highlight. Too much highlight. It's like in a good way though. In a, in a good way. Why did I just sing that? Okay, thanks for watching. Bye guys. Today I filmed this look for you right here. It is a recreation of Jaclyn Hill's Halo Smoky Eye Cool Tone Purple Look.